Now we are in extremely interesting times right now. And if you are a seller who is selling your property for the first time, it is going to be a different process than you may have heard over the last couple of years. If you like any of the content that I post, I'd love it if you like and subscribe to the channel. Each and every Monday, you're gonna get a video from myself helping first time buyers and first time sellers figure out what the best strategy for them is to make their next move. Now, when it comes to selling your first house, there's gonna be a lot of questions. How much is it gonna cost me to sell my first house? What are my first steps to take? Do I need to stage the property? Now, let's start with the cost of actually selling your property. When you have your first property purchased and it's time to sell it, you're gonna have some more expenses that you didn't have when you bought this property. First of which is gonna be the commission that's paid to the agents. Now, in Ontario, the seller pays the commissions to both the listing brokerage and the cooperating brokerage who brings in that buyer. Ontario average is around 5% commission. Now, sometimes this is gonna vary depending on your market. So talk to your local agent or the agent who's gonna be representing you and they will let you know exactly what these costs are going to be. Now, the second cost that you as a seller might wanna consider is staging your property. Some agents include this in their fees. We will include staging in these sales if the property requires it to be staged. Staging is something that's very interesting because not every property necessarily needs it, but every property can definitely get just a little bit more money if it is staged. The reason being is these staging companies are able to come in and they're gonna set it up to be fantastic looking, that HGTV style where your house looks like a dream and you may not want to move from this house anymore once you see the way they've staged it. But keep in mind, it's just a visual for these buyers coming in. Having it staged, giving them this fantastic first impression is going to allow you as the seller to hopefully capitalize and get a little bit more money for your house, even above and beyond what the staging will actually cost. Now, if your agent, like mentioned before, is gonna cover these costs, it's something that obviously is gonna be a fantastic opportunity for you just to take advantage of that and make sure that you get the top value for your property. Now, thirdly, the cost that a lot of people do not take into consideration is going to be the repairs and the maintenance of the house after a potential home inspection. Let's say you have a contract with a buyer but the home inspection happens and they find a couple things that they're not particularly happy with. They might come back to you and say, hey, Mike, we love your house. We want to move forward with the purchase. However, we want the roof repaired because there's some issues with it and we can see some water coming in in the attic. They might want the electrical updated. Possibly you've got an older electrical system. You've got a fuse box and they love the house. They like it enough to ask you, can you get rid of the old fuse box and replace it with the newer electrical system? Or potentially they come back to you and say, hey, your furnace is on its last legs and we're looking to move forward with the purchase. However, can you give us some money to compensate for the age of the furnace, possibly the age of some of the other HVAC systems? Even though you have authority to say yes or no, you need to be aware that at any time during this home inspection negotiation after the fact, the buyers might ask for something. And in order for the deal to happen, you as a seller are going to have to make the decision on if you can comply with these needs and you'll need to have the cash to do this before closing and make sure that the buyer has had these conditions satisfied by you. When you're selling your first house, Make sure you are working with somebody who can walk you through that process confidently and properly and somebody who understands your current situation. Everybody's situation is different, so make sure that you're working with somebody who has your best interest at heart. Thank you once again for watching. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned every Monday for a new video from me. Have a wonderful week, and I'll talk to you next Monday.